<clears throat> coming at you like an annoying gender reveal party. It's a motorcycle that no one asked for. An electric two-wheeled merchant of death. <laughs> But you know what? I've never seen a bike with a functioning set of firepower on it, so might as well make it exist. Is that a bit much? Maybe, but I really wanted to be like Batman. What gives you the right? What's the difference between you and me? I'm not wearing hockey pads. But unlike Batman, I am wearing hockey pads. But hey, Halloween is coming, and if I'm a Wish.com Dark Knight or a store brand Cape Crusader, at least the bike will help me achieve in a costume war, or, or get arrested. Take the Batman into custody. To recap this journey, this was an electric motorcycle that sat at a salvage lot, and by sat, I mean in the far, far most left field of the insurance company's property because they didn't want it to go full incubus and have some spontaneous combustion or have their employees be the result of cardiac arrest by trying to touch some high voltage parts. So it literally sat for over two years until they told me that it was going to go to a landfill in New Jersey if I didn't take it. And now what kind of environmentalist would I be if I didn't oblige to someone coercing a sale? by telling me they're gonna trash a contraption that I thought I could fix. So I made a video series on the entire thing and I can sum that up in- Right in the kitchen. Now we will just button this up, or, lit or literally staple and zip tie it up, and take it out for its maiden voyage. It is now time to dance. The nitrogen and liquid propane tanks are topped off, mounted, and fastened to the frame. The lines are on and connected, and I've triple checked everything. Now it's time to put on some hockey pads and do the thing. And I know I might get flack for this, but no capes. No capes. Oh, the cape and the boots. No capes. Because Edna mode said so. Oh, and uh, a cyberpunk mask because eye protection is important. And yes, I've, I've just been continually walking around in circles to see if anybody would notice or call me out and be like, what are you doing? What, are you, what, what am I doing? Who knows? But we're here and you guys are too. So this is cool. I put on my own and wizard hat. <laughs>
Dude, and you want to be Batman? Yeah, maybe with the helmet off. Good lord. people realize how hard it is to actually shoot at something on a moving bike. This is absurd. I can hit a tree just fine, but that's not what counts. I'm trying to hit a target while moving. Yeah. All that was done in hockey pads. So here's some glossy B-roll. Here she is fully dressed and ready to paint the town red or whatever color paintballs that you have. And for the specs, all in for the auction that no one else entered because they didn't want to die. The taxes, fees, and all that stuff salvaged lots need to charge you for. It was $1,500. I found the motor controller on eBay, naturally, because you never know what you're gonna get from there. And that was only 250 bucks since no one needed one for this because the Volcon Grunts are not the most well-known bikes. If you haven't tried a fat tire bike, it is fun to ride. And then, uh, then for additional costs, nitrogen and propane, some remote coil lines, primer and enamel, and a can-do attitude. This bike was not being wastefully junked and turned in to this for under $2,000. This, this, dude, I'm pleased as punch with how it came out. I think Volcon had a really cool design in the first place, but murder things up, clean them up, and um, yeah. Thank you for tuning into this nonsense. I really appreciate you being here, and I hope you have yourself a lovely day. Ciao. We're trying to help you. I don't need help. Not my diagnosis. <laughs>